Welcome to VPG's world. It's VPG. And I got some wings stuff today. So, um, and we're going to talk about goals for 2024. Um, but before we get to the food and before we get to the subject at hand, uh, we going to, we know what we got to do first. We got to show love to the VP squad. What's good? What's goody what's up oh this light is kind of good like i feel like i'm having a good skin day but like you can see my dark circles anyway this light's still good though um so yeah so we gonna show love to the vp squad because we love them and there would be no me without you you feel me so i love y'all i want to thank y'all um y'all see my little head thing i be wearing sometimes but i still got this hair in my head that i gotta take out anyway anyway uh, Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know that y'all, um, like I said, there would be no me without you. I thank y'all for subscribing to me and, you know, and loving on me and encouraging me. And uh, I even thank the haters that's part of this squad. Because I got people that subscribe to me that be hating on me. It's insane, but it is what it is. You feel me? Um, <laughs> but I thank y'all too. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because it ain't nothing but pumping me up, giving me more ammunition that keep going and going and going and going. Then I also want to thank my members. My members pay a weekly, a monthly subscription to be part of what I have going. And I sincerely thank you. Okay, I sincerely thank you. Uh, merch is on the way. I know I keep saying that. But I literally went and talked to my merch lady yesterday. So boom it's coming it's getting warm but the hoodies is coming y'all the hoodies coming the t-shirts coming the rolling trays is coming the mugs is coming the tumblers is coming all the things are in the making you feel me um yeah so yeah yeah all the things but i thank y'all i mean if you are not part of the vp squad or a part of my membership please consider becoming a member uh, but if you want to just be part of the VP squad, all you got to do is first subscribe to the channel. And after you subscribe to the channel, because subscri subscribing is free. It, all, you, all it is is a boop of the button. After you subscribe, then we need you to like my content. We need you to like it because once you like it, it sends me out into the algorithm. You feel me? If you like VPG and you want other people to see me, then you have to like my videos. You know what I mean? So then after you subscribe and like, then we need you to comment. Say nice things. Hell, say mean things. Just say something. You feel me? Um, and then, you know, if you don't have nothing to say, peaches and orange hearts are good. We appreciate those over here. We like that. Um, so after you do that, after you surprise, surprise, sur 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 subscribe, like, and comment, the next thing we need you to do is share me out. Share me out on all your platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, Clapper, all the things. Uh, tweet me. Tweet me out. on What's that? X. Do all the things. On threads. That's a new thing, too. Do all that. And then, you know, especially to your mommy, your poppy, your sister, your brother, your significant other. You feel me? And then... Boom. You part of the squad. I love you. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. And then I got to let y'all know I go live every day. Well, not every day. Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. My views is going up. I have good um topics that we talk about and discuss. It be some crazy people up in there, but we definitely have fun. My energy, my personality, it shines through and through. We laugh, we joke, we have a good time. So come on to the live. Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. I promise you, you're going to have fun. Let's eat. All right, so I got the Louisiana rub. That's this kind. They dry. I love my dry wings. They taste so good, y'all. They a little spicy. And then we got the, the garlic parmesan. They good, too. And I got me a regular ranch. I should have got me a, um, a large. But it's all good. So... What we're talking about today is goals for 2024. So, I got some things that I want to do that I've been wanting to do for the last few years. You know what I mean? So, one of my goals for 2024, though, 
on a serious note is I'm getting back into crafting. getting back into crafting and what inspired me to get back into crafting is because i'm doing my own merch some of it i'm not doing my t-shirts and my hoodies though because my space set up even when i was doing crafting that's one thing that i really did not enjoy back, doing was t-shirts and stuff she's back but the crafting um is back. i i'm getting back into it so i'm gonna start off with a louisiana rub wing dip it in the ranch they hot but um since i'm getting back into crafting it's a new it's some new things that i want to learn on the craft side So I'm definitely about to get back into the craft sector of YouTube. Because I used to be all up in them crafting streets. And then, of course, because I stopped crafting, I, I ain't visited them in a while. But it's time for me to get back up in them streets and see what's really going on. It's time for me to invest in some new equipment. Like, I need a new sublimation printer. I need a new mug press. Tumblr press. I sold my mug press. Um, I never, um, I sold my, my, um, my uh oven that i used to make my tumblers in and now i'm eating the garlic parmesan wing which that one ain't even feel like it had no parmesan on it um It's tripping. I swear these wings taste plain as well. Like super fine. That's irritating. But yeah, so I definitely got to get back in these streets. And get back to rebound my uh my craft and stuff. Cause it's time, baby. I gotta get back in these crafting streets. Like I said, get my equipment back up. Well, it's time to hit them hard, baby. Um, I gotta give me another sublimation printer, like I said. Um But the one I had originally bought was three hundred dollars, and I had started having problems with it. And for the life of me, I couldn't fix it. I could not fix it. So I had it for a while, tried to fix it. I never could. I told. I just had it sitting. I was selling so much of my other stuff, getting rid of stuff. And I had talked to, you know, somebody about it. And they was like, I can fix it. So I sold it to them, like, super dirt cheap. I don't even know if they ever fixed it or what. Probably so. Either way, I couldn't fix it. I made so much money off that printer, it's crazy. But... Now I'm just getting back to, you know, doing crafting or whatever. So, I'm excited about that. 
and then So y'all used to have a podcast. Um, man, these garlic parmesan wings is terrible. I'm so mad. They ain't hardly give me no seasoning on no garlic parmesan. Like none. Um. One day I'm going to stop being cheap and I'm going to pay for all flats. Because all flats is really what I like. Or what I prefer. And they ain't hardly give me none. They gave me like mostly drums. So anyway. If I used to have a podcast... And it was actually doing well. I think I talked to y'all about this before. And, um... Yeah, I got to a point where I was trying to record you know, two or three times a week. And, um... You know, I was with my ex at the time, and, like, he basically knew what I was doing. And it was like, the more and more I was getting into recording, the more and more he was giving me a hard time. Like, you know, if I tried to record downstairs, usually he'll go upstairs. So, it got to the point where if I was downstairs, he, oh, I wanted to watch TV. And then if I record upstairs, oh, I want to go, I want to lay in the bed. Or if I recorded outside, it was, oh, you must be saying something sneaky and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It was just always something. So, I started getting so discouraged about it. Like, instead of him encouraging me, he was discouraging me so much about it. And it, it was an argument. So, I ended up just stopping it. It was like, why I got to get... Why do I have to argue about it? You know what I mean? So it was just real discouraging. So I ended up stopping it. I was like almost to monetization with that. <clears throat> they had, you know, sent me the whole... even Because I was with... um. They didn't change the name of it. Now, I think the name of it is Podcasters or something like that. Um, What I was on. Because they, they still be sending me emails. I tell me that they changed the name and welcome back and blah blah blah. I mean, not welcome back, come on back. So I went on there and I had listened to some of my old recordings and, um, I had some good stuff on there. I had this trans uh, woman on there. And she was talking about her life. And some of the things she had been through. And then I had a friend of mine on there. She was talking about how she had got shot. And, um, you know, basically the trauma behind that. Um... some good it was some good stuff that my podcast was good so I definitely want to get back into that for sure this year um so actually Me and another YouTuber been discussing that. How we gonna go about starting one? So we gonna get off into that. It's coming soon.
Because the way me and her think, we think the same about some things, but some things we don't. But we respect each other's opinion. You know what I mean? So I think that that would be good. Like, I don't, I feel like if you, if you have like, um, a platform like that and y'all agree with each other on everything which i've seen podcasts like that where some party say something and everything they say they're like oh yeah i agree i agree i agree you know what i mean it works you know what i mean but um and me and her we gonna talk about everything on there we gonna talk about politics we gonna talk about religion we gonna talk about relationships we gonna talk about everything there is to talk about we're going to talk about it. And it's going to be real, honest opinion. We're going to talk about racism. We're going to talk about, I don't know, porn. We're going to talk about whatever. Whatever. Okay? Whatever. Then we're going to do it on StreamYard. So we're going to be pulling people up on the panel. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be good. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited about it. I can't wait till we launch this. You know? Oh, all right. Keep messing your chicken up. I'm hungry, y'all. See, I have to tell y'all. <clears throat> usually I eat one meal a day. I usually don't eat before I leave the house. Because I don't cook before I leave. And um, sometimes I, every once in a while I cook at night. Some, and if I have leftovers, I'll eat that. But if I'm cooking at night, I don't have leftovers. So, usually when I leave out the house, I get something to eat. And then it'd be like 4 or 5 o'clock. Because I'm getting ready to go to work. And I didn't do no lift or nothing today. I took care of a couple things in the house. So, yeah. Did I mention that I go live every day at 5 o'clock? And y'all need to get into it. Did I mention that? These garlic parmesan wings is weak. And I'm upset. It tastes like straight oil. If it wasn't for this ranch, I got another flat. But it was garlic parmesan. It wasn't a Louisiana rub. Usually the combination of these wings always get 10 wings, 5 and 5. They hit so hard. But this time, they ain't hitting as hard as they usually do. Even though I'm tearing them up. Mind you. They ain't hit as hard as they usually do. The Louisiana rub is not the garlic parmesan. I'm going to start asking them for seasoning on the side or something. This is like my third time coming here and they messing up my order. It's irritating. Like, I'm paying y'all for a specific type of wing. And this is not it. Like, what is y'all doing? And I don't really be wanting to complain on DoorDash because it be pickups. So, you know, you don't really be wanting to complain because, like, I got the food or whatever. But it don't taste good. Like, well, they probably like, oh, you just complain just so you can get them credit. But I don't really like doing that. But I'm about to complain this time. Because I'm kind of upset. It's irritating. Like it just. Mm -hmm. Anyway. For 10 rings and a rack. It's $14.48. I get this all the time. I'm paying $14.48. And five of these wings don't even taste good. That's half of my meal. 
I feel away. For real. But um, yeah. She with. But anyway. So definitely excited about the podcast. I also got another little business venture that I wanted to start. Y'all do know my sister, the sassy soul. I'm gonna put her probably over here or maybe over here. I don't know. I'm gonna put her somewhere. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She been posting stuff, y'all. I'm so proud of her. Cause last year she ain't do nothing on her YouTube. So um she started her boutique, a clothing boutique. Her website I'm gonna put down here is or maybe up here sassy soul boutique dot com period. So she just posted a video. The day I'm recording this is February eighth. So she I think she recorded it. She posted it yesterday or either today. Um, so I gotta follow in her footsteps because I have a business venture. I'm gonna be selling something, a product, and you will be able to wear it. And I got to follow in my sister's footsteps because, like, when I had my business, I did personalization or whatever. Um, and I was, you know, selling like t shirts and different little stuff you could wear. Um, but I, it was based off something different, and I did my LLC thing, and I did the whole thing. Um, but you know, I closed it down or whatever. Um, and I just imagine like if I would have kept going, like how far I would have been at this point. But everything happens for a reason. I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. You know, my mind, I was going through a lot at the time, you know what I mean? So, it's okay. But, this year, I got my little business venture jumping off. Um, and I keep telling y'all, remember, I'm getting married this year, too. I have a lot going on. I'm about to, listen, it's February. I'm... I'm, 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 my, I think I already met my husband. I might be meeting him this year. Cause if it ain't the guy that I'm already dating my husband, then I, I probably still gotta meet my husband too. This is about to be a busy year for me. That means I gotta meet my husband. We gotta date. We gotta fall in love. And I'm gonna have to plan a wedding. All in 2024. Huh. Meanwhile, I'm still being a mother of a young man, an 18 year old that's about to be 19 this year. I'm a YouTuber. I have a job. I hustle. Huh. I'm about to start crafting again. And I'm about to start my other business venture. Baby! I got a lot going on. I, you know what else I'm about to do? I'm about to hire me an assistant, baby, because I'm going to need one. With all this stuff going on in my life. This baby. Who? Who? Who <laughs> playing with me? You know what I mean? Ah. <sighs> I got so much to do this year. <laughs> I got so much to do. I got so much to do. And I'm just going to speak this into existence. The man that I'm dating right now, he is going to be my husband. So, I already love him. Him and I are already in love with each other. So, now it's just the steps to getting to what we are planning for 
our relationship and then planning a wedding. You know what I mean? So that's really all it's about. Oh, y'all forgot. I'm moving. Man, you ain't found the house yet. I'm moving. Um, I'm getting me a truck this year. Huh. It's so listen, y'all. Y'all <laughs> Y'all just don't know. I have so much boom, boom, boom. You know what? That that's my problem. Remember, I was saying I'm feeling inadequate in my other video. If y'all been watching my last couple of videos, I've been saying I'm feeling inadequate. It's so many things I gotta do and I don't know what I got. That's what it is. I'm knocking down goals, but I got so much more to do. 2024 is about to be so busy for me because I got so many things to do. That's why. I didn't even think of it like that. That's why. And for real, for real. And I got to start going to the dentist about my teeth. Now... I gotta find me a good dental insurance. Let me know I'm gonna be paying for it out of pocket. I at least gotta have my regular exams and stuff. And I'm about to have the big old chiclet teeth. I'm about to have them. I'm gonna be. Y'all see how I be buying stuff now? Wait till I have my chiclet teeth. I'm gonna be buying the crap out of my. Like, yang, yang, yang. Wait, just wait. Baby. Bing. I just don't know. I got a lot of plans for this year. I'm gonna have my big old chiclet teeth, baby. I'm gonna stop my mouth. Just wait. What the freak is that? A vein? Ugh. So I ate all that chicken except for one. I tore that chicken up. Only two of these garlic parmesan wings was decent. The rest of them didn't taste. This one tastes good. And then the very first one I ate was like, okay. The rest of them, the other three didn't have no taste at all. This was good. I ain't had no wing stop in a minute. That's a lie. I think I had wing stop like two weeks ago. It was like late night. They was getting ready to close. And I was doing this. And I had hit them up right before they closed up. And I had got the same thing. And my garlic parmesan wings was not really well seasoned. Maybe it's time for me to switch up. But see, I be liking the same stuff. I don't want to switch up too much. Because you get to switching and then I get something else and then that be nasty too. You know what I mean? But yeah, I got so much stuff to do. I don't know what y'all got planned for 2024, but it's time for us to get on it. <clears throat> it's time for us to get on it. I need to start looking for my house. I already know the truck I want. Y'all, I told y'all in my other video, I lost my cord to my... I lost my cord to my cricket. So I done had to order a new cord. Ooh. I done had to order a new cord to my cricket, y'all. Y'all see my name? Beatrice. I done had to order a new cord to my cricket. Them thinking I was about to bust out those uh some of the merch. Baby. Couldn't even plug in my cricket because I lost the cord. So tomorrow, um, I already got them in my Amazon cart, so I'ma order my cords. Hopefully they don't take forever to come. What else? Um other than that, you know, I'm knocking down goal after goal. 
And I'm drinking my water and manning my business. Period. Baby, because that's what counts. Drink your water, mind your business, and then I got me some sweet. It's about to be my little dessert. I'm about to eat a couple of these, and I'm about to get on the road. Y'all know I'm about to go to work. And I'm about to eat a couple of these, because you know after you eat, you need some sweet. And I got the... Oh, I got... um. Where that bag at? Oh, I got me a little Reese cup, too, that I had bought yesterday. Period. A little egg, Reese cup. Egg. Uh -uh. Is this from, um. Oh, wait. Is it about to be Easter? When is Easter this year? I gotta look that up. I bought this from the gas station. If y'all was watching my live for February 7th, I went into the gas station and I bought, you know, gas. Um, this egg and some now laters, which I still got some of the now laters too. And um, now I'm sitting up here thinking, I'm like, the egg, I'm like, this ain't from last year, is it? But I guess Easter about to come up, so they putting out their little Easter uh candy already. But um, yeah, whatever. But um, thank y'all for watching by the end of this video. Um, but, um, check my description box. Don't forget, I go live every day at 5 o'clock Monday through, I mean, every, I can say every day. Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Watch the replay. Um, and as always, be comfortable, be confident, and most importantly, be peachy. Peach out. Bye.